Hi, this is Francesco Rulli. I'm the CEO of uh, Querlo. I'm here today with uh, Franz Gilbert, Vice President of Human Capital, uh, Deloitte Consulting. Uh, so, Franz, if you can introduce yourself and a little bit more specifics about your work at Deloitte. Fantastic. And Francesco, thank you so much for the opportunity to talk with you this morning about this important topic. At Deloitte, I really have the sincere pleasure of uh, working in our human capital as a service. So essentially, my role is to help bring emerging products, so think you know, our data lake, artificial intelligence services, and a variety of other assets that we work on, not only to our consulting teams, but to our end clients, you know, in a way of not only making sure that we're bringing the quality that they're expecting out of our consulting engagements, but also trying to find different ways to bring insights to them. Very interesting. And uh, looking at what we're going through now, uh, both the COVID, but also looking at the post-COVID era that we're going to embrace, what are, in your opinion, the challenges, but also the opportunities uh, that lies ahead to us? I, this is always a challenging question to answer, because first and foremost, it's important to understand how many people have been negatively impacted by this, right? I mean, there are tremendous folks that have been impacted from their friends and family immediately impacted. There are those on the front lines, you know, in terms of service workers and you know, first responders. So I, I'm always very cognizant of answering this question in this way, but just understanding first, the impact to our nation has been, you know, just disastrous. I think if we're looking for a silver lining, probably the one silver, one of the silver linings is, we are seeing an acceleration of the movement of future of work. You know, so as a result, you know, what we thought jobs could be done virtually, or could we redesign how jobs were being done? Obviously, the pandemic forced a lot of that movement. You know, and it's not just about the roles. We saw business models changing very rapidly for people trying to figure out how to survive. So I think in terms of what the impact of the business community was, is you know, we had the response stage you know, where people had to figure out how is this going to impact me. Then we quickly went to a recover, right, of all right, how are we going to be reimagining ourselves? And we're starting to see the beginnings of the thrive stage, of what that new economy might look like, both in terms of how we're working from a future of work standpoint and think about the digital transformation efforts. Okay, very, very interesting. Now, uh, looking at the specifics of artificial intelligence, where do you see the role of artificial intelligence in, uh, um, in this new normal or at least uh, in the future that we are you know, going to have to face? I think this is a, a good, it goes back to what we thought may have taken a little longer is absolutely happening faster. So we had just released our human capital trends, which is our global research that we do annually on what are we seeing in human capital. And one of the things that we really spend a lot of time on is our, what we're calling super teams, right? It's this concept of artificial intelligence often gets viewed in isolation, right? It's kind of this concept of it's running in a machine or it's running inside of a robot. And really the power of artificial intelligence is how when it's integrated into how teams work. Right? It's not only reallocating the work, but how do teams start working with that AI almost as part of the team. And so as a result, we're starting to see that movement, right? So as a result, you know, the shift kind of at a pragmatic level is only 12% of those surveyed are saying they're thinking about how AI would replace workers. Right? Correspondingly, 60% of organizations who responded said, that they're looking at using AI to assist rather than replace workers. And I think that's going to be the biggest difference here is as we go virtually, right? And we're, you know, it's to be seen how much of the economy stays virtual as we continue to recover. But this has been that impetus for how do we make sure employees have access to those cognitive agents, right? Or how can we expedite development or investment into those cognitive agents to really make sure our workers are getting the information that they need at the end, provide better service to their end business. Very interesting. Yes, I fully agree with you. And this is actually uh, <laughs> that's the perfect in line with what our experience has been. And if um, companies or executives want to reach out to Deloitte Consulting to learn more about your services, what's the best way to approach you guys? Absolutely. They, they can feel free to reach out to me directly. Uh, you know, I'm at Franz, frgilbert at Deloitte.com, or you can easily find me on LinkedIn. Oh, perfect. Thank you very much, friends. Fantastic. And thank you for the pleasure as always. Thank you.